So have it upgraded your TV to a flat screen? That would be a no. <laughs> or maybe you're looking at adding a new TV to your house. What are those smart TVs? We still uh -huh. have five with tubes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think you're ready to take that plunge? Sorry, maybe someday. <laughs> Our gadget guy Steve Van Dinter says make sure you take a look at the remote control first. No, Why is right. that? You know, this might be hard for folks who are young now or maybe even under 30, but there was a time before remote controls. Yes. And mm -hmm. you actually had to get up and get turn up. the knob or push the button on the TV to right. turn up the volume or change those channels. I can remember that. Today's remote's still getting even more advanced and as Consumer Reports found out, too confusing for some. Remote controls that work differently with far fewer buttons are coming now with smart TVs. You use this one from LG like a magic wand. It moves a cursor on the screen to navigate the menu. But of course, it's not perfect. This TV remote does make it harder to navigate the usual TV menu and also to do normal functions like change the input from your cable box to the antenna. It also has voice recognition. Consumer reports. That's fine for searching the web, but not for regular TV viewing. This Panasonic TV comes with a traditional remote and one that performs basic tasks like volume and channel changing, plus a touchpad for smart TV functions, like searching the web. While a secondary remote does look cool, like most other remotes that come with the TVs, it's not universal, so you can't control your cable or satellite box. Samsung also has a set that comes with a conventional and a touchpad remote, but it can be used as a universal remote. Plus, the Samsung set has gesture and voice controls. But Consumer Reports finds they make some things more difficult, like turning up the volume. Volume up. Volume up. Volume up. So do the newest TV remotes really make watching television uh, easier? Kind of They're really designed to help you navigate apps, do searches, and surf the web. And from what we've seen, they do it pretty well. But if you're just trying to catch the latest episode of Mad Men, you're probably better off with your regular old remote. Volume up. Volume up. Yeah. Volume up. <laughs> oh, you know, more television, especially those smart TVs, are uh -huh. packed with internet capability. Mm -hmm. And that's where these touchpad remotes really shine. Some also have slide out keyboards, which allow you to type in web addresses, mm -hmm. for instance. And others allow you to download an app to your iPhone or Android device. And then you can actually control your TV using your smartphone, which those are pretty cool. Yeah. Of course, though, none of these are perfect, but you can bet manufacturers continuing to make improvements to this technology mm -hmm. so that uh, you get more of what you're interested in in the end. And if you're just looking to simplify your life, you can combine them remotes you currently have into uh -huh. uh, the universe remotes like we talked about that mm -hmm. you can get those at a uh, department store and they're, they're fairly cheap um, and therefore you can take and, and take those three or four different remotes and get them into one probably your best bet at this point in time uh -huh. and, you know when you're ready to upgrade to that smart TV then you'll get one of those fancy remotes coming up there's something to be said about keeping it simple absolutely mm -hmm. no don't make things complicated like no. all right thank you Steve you're Thanks, welcome Steve. all right we'll be right back